Hey guys, so we come to the end. We're about to, in a, like, you know, eight hours, we're going to be on the road to PAX, oh. probably somewhere near that. And uh, we have one last thing to cover. This is going to be at PAX, and fuck me, I didn't find out until too late. Because <laughs> I really wanted to cover this before, Rain. like, for the last, like, two years, I've almost wanted to cover this. And just kept, you know, things get, keep getting put off and shit, and then you forget about it for a while, and then you remember it again, and then you're like, can't do it this week, and then you forget about it again. Tell me it's more. It's called The Stanley Jeez, Parable, and I think that this trailer... That is about a real email that he received about his game. Sums up the game better than nice. maybe even playing it could. Uh, uh, not really, but writes, we will play it one day. I just played your game, and I'd like to say it was the most annoying thing I ever played. <laughs> it had its cool moments, but overall the experience was only of annoyance. The problem is that it does not touch the heart of people. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very emotionless game. Did I love you ask any girls to try out your game? <laughs> I ask because they are blissfully less logical than us guys. I am very logical myself, what the fuck? but also what? very emotional. <laughs> so it was easy for me to find the game annoying. Wow. What happened is that your game frustrated How me. How old was this kid? I felt like I was being taken into someone else's hallways, doors and plans to deliver me an experience that didn't touch me. And worst of all, I had absolutely no free will in the game. No way to change anything. No impact. No power. I accomplished nothing. People play games because of what they can do inside them. And your game is very good at letting them know they can't do anything. Other things I didn't like were the amount of narrated dialogue too much. And that Stanley is repeated all the time by the narrator. Overall, your game is on a good path, I think. Good luck with it and best regards, Raphael. So there's more to that where it goes on on this big comedy routine Jesus. making fun of the guy, but I'm, I was afraid that there might be spoilers about the experience in the in it. The, f the fact is I've played a little bit of the game, like the first like five to ten minutes, and I immediately knew it was for the show, and I sweet wanted my... It's one of those rare games where I knew that my first reaction is very necessary sweet. on it, so I stopped. Um, but just never got back around to it, and I'm kind of annoyed because now he's going to be there, and I want to talk to him about it. But there won't be anything for me to talk about. But I at least wanted to impart to you his sense of humor, and this is yeah. another video he made about the creation of indie games. This guy, oh God. it's fucking amazing. For boys and girls all over the world, games are an exciting pastime. Here we see a group of young boys playing the Stanley Parable. It's invigorating, <laughs> promotes teamwork and for just a few brief minutes helps them forget the nuclear winter that claimed their parents. <laughs> Timmy here has a question about his favorite game. Where did the Stanley Parable come from? <laughs> Timmy, it's an excellent question. Like all video games, the Stanley Parable was made here in Wyoming. From a young age, children are trained in the art of programming. Today, this young girl will learn C Sharp, Visual Basic, and high-level assembly language. <laughs> if she fails, she'll be fed to the others. <laughs> when the children come of age, they are tied together and marched into the center of town, where they will each write a single line of code, and then they die. <laughs> Today, the king of Wyoming comes to inspect the development and issue a judgment on its progress. Ah, reverse walking. The game has overwhelmingly won his approval. <laughs> when the game is complete, it's time for production and distribution. Here, a number of witches are turning straw into fiberglass insulation, which the game will be printed on. Witches nice. are hard workers, and they love their jobs, for which they've all volunteered. This one is brimming with joy at the thought of one day getting her child back. And at long last, the Stanley Parallel is ready to be shipped out to eager players. All over the country, thousands of citizens have descended on their local game of to try it out for themselves. The fervor is palpable. The tragedy strikes when just 30 seconds into the start of the game, <laughs> the crowd becomes enraged by it and erupts in a bloody <laughs> rock. It's the worst game they have ever played. <laughs> Tonight, millions will die. Oh, the game's creators are put on trial for their crime. Uh, they hired a lawyer, but unfortunately, he only speaks Italian. <laughs> a guilty verdict comes back from the judge, and the creators are imprisoned, then shipped out to a camp 
<laughs> to spend oh the God. rest of their lives teaching bees how to read. Oh it's a God. futile task. Bees can't read. <laughs> yeah. The Stanley Parable is a failure, but perhaps you can learn from their mistakes. That's right, Billy. You too can make a video game. One that might inspire the nation. Well, to be fair, I haven't seen your work. I can't really speculate on your artistic potential. <laughs> Realistically, your game will probably suck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, the best part is that I've seen that documentary oh, right there God. at the end. Oh, with the, yeah? the old, <laughs> it's about uh, Stranger Danger. Yeah, oh, I think I've seen it too. Yeah. Realistically, your game will probably suck. So that's the end. Um, Stanley Parable will be there. Uh, they're that's making amazing. he's making a sequel. It was originally a um, uh, Half Life Two mod, and now he's really? making it from the ground up Jesus. And, re and selling it. So that that makes that original email even more funny because it means that the person who wrote it was complaining about a free mod. Oh my god! To a game. Yeah. It wasn't even a game he bought. Ugh. Fantastic. Um, Remember to, yeah, I should give some me PAX messages at the end here. Follow VGA, hashtag, hashtag VGA, VGA PAX. PAX. Especially if you are at PAX, you'll want to follow that hashtag. Yeah. I'll try to remember to use it myself pictures. when I tweet. Um, I really should do that. Uh, those who are going to PAX, quick orientation info for you here. We will be at the Fan Gamer booth at the end. One one hour before the close of the floor every day. So I think close of the floor is 6 p.m. So 5 so p.m. each day? 5 p.m. But if, it, if the close of the floor is 5 p.m. each day, then we'll be there at 4 each day. One hour. But I'm pretty okay. sure it's whatever. Is the new badge or the old badge? No, this is like so six, 2011. Right? Yours is 12. Yours is 10. Anyways. <laughs> Exhibition all 766. Six. Six. Mine says 666. This says 2 a.m. No. And to the right of it. Uh, this is different. It closes at uh, 2 a.m. Okay, we'll be there at 1 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> 1 a.m. I think 5 p.m. Um, and uh, we'll be there so one hour before the close of the floor. And within 15 minutes of that hour, like so quarter after that hour, quarter after five. we will be gone from there to another location because we don't like to stand in front of the fan game at the booth the whole Unless time. Unless you're buying stuff. <laughs> uncomfortable. Well, I, I don't money. think they mind actually having the big yes, crowd right. there because it makes them look popular, which they are. But um, <laughs> it's pretty good because there's a huge space behind them. So yeah. The main thing is that we like to move somewhere a little bit more quiet and a little bit with more seating. Somewhere more. So if you're not there within 15 minutes, we won't be there. So you might want to ask Fan Gamer where we are. But anyway, uh, <laughs> um, they are our official that's minders, any unofficially. <laughs> other things. Um, That's it, I think. We don't know of any parties that we're going to or anything. Not at the moment. It's there kind of a There isn't like a big purse party this year, yeah. which is a big bummer. Everything's touch and go, and I encourage all the PAX attendees from our show to hang out with each other, because you have no idea what we're going to be up to. It's true. But we'll let you know if we're up to something that we want you to be involved and hang out with us at. Yeah, totally. Uh, that's it. Oh, and we are not doing the Twitch booth thing this time. Yeah. Yeah, we're not doing the the um. Uh, I didn't I didn't get back to them in time. Good, because I'm always the most over on those days. <laughs> the Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it, right? So we won't be on the show for a while, everybody. But expect. I'm really hoping I have a media badge this year again, and so is Becky this year too. Nice. Maybe next year we'll get enough confidence to try for everybody. I just don't want to push it. I have a feeling you're going to be like, all right there. Easy there, internet funny guy. <laughs> you're banned for life. Internet funny guy. Yeah, um, they, they banned for life. But um, I'm going to try to upload videos throughout the weekend by going to the media room this time, which I didn't even know it existed until the end of the last packs I had media at. So I might try to use the connection to, to make put real videos up. Guys, right. get up the courage to talk to us. We're nice. Like, yeah. we'll totally say hey. No, say Especially hi. Especially We will say hi. You don't we have to wait like until the end of the day to say hi either. If you see us on the show with Flory, feel free to say hi. Spank us on the butt. We just won't hang out. Spank gives free we'll, kisses. Not like we won't hang out at until the end of the day. But yeah. it, you know, a lot of we will always say hi. True, <laughs> uh, We're peeps too. Look for the short ones. 
That's yeah. I'm the tallest if you can believe. Yeah, that. if you're over six foot, you're not gonna see us from the floor. That's just fact. Well, maybe they can see us from above. Maybe. If you're average height, oh. you can see us from all. Yeah. Very much. Mm -hmm. Sorry. That's how it goes in Canada. I'm gonna get some sleep. See you later, guys. We'll Just see you it. from uh, Watch Our Vines. Woo! Oh, you'll want to follow us on Twitter. Yeah, do and that. And on Shit. MySpace. Bye. <laughs>